All right, well today we wanna to show you how much we can get done in five minutes of cleaning. We're gonna show a few different areas of our house and we have a fun new addition to our yes. living room that we wanna show you as well. So now are we talking five actual minutes or five edited video minutes? No, 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 like five actual minutes. You are gonna be amazed how much we can get done. I'm gonna sit back and watch. Tom's gonna to go outside and get a little work done. The kids and I are gonna get busy. Okay, so for our first five minutes, we're gonna attack the kitchen. So we have divided up, Maggie is going to empty the dishwasher, Adeline's gonna load it, Gage is gonna sweep the floor, and Corbin's gonna help me with the counters. And just to be clear, um, were you guys grumbling before I told you to come to the kitchen, or were you like, oh, I'm so excited? I was grumbling. Grumbling? Happy. Corbin actually wasn't too bad. Maggie, grumbling, or were you super excited to come help clean? I was half and half. Half and half, all right. Uh, so the key is I told them we're only doing five minutes. We're setting the timer for five minutes. We're gonna see how much we can get done in that amount of time. So that's the plan. And I'm gonna, should I do the clicky timer or the timer on the microwave? Timer, timer on the microwave. Timer on the microwave. Timer on the microwave, okay. All right, oh, you wanna set it, Megs? Okay, five minutes, here we go. And I think it's also important to note that one of the reasons we can pick up really quickly and why it's easy for the kids to help is because we've reduced the inventory in our house so much. And putting stuff away is actually fairly easy because the drawers and cabinets aren't stuffed full like they used to be in the past. Everything has a home and it's very easy to put it back in that home. And so anyone can jump in in the kitchen and help clean it up. And so I really appreciate that. And so if it still feels really hard to keep your kitchen clean or tidy, I encourage you to keep reducing the inventory until it gets to a point where it's functioning well and you feel like it's much easier. Like when I looked at the kitchen this morning, the kids had made pancakes and breakfast and there was a lot of dishes. We've been doing a lot of cooking at home lately, which is great, but it also means dishes. And in the past that would have overwhelmed me, but I look at it now, I'm like, eh, it's only five minutes dirty. It's only 15 minutes dirty. And I know that it can all be pulled back together really quickly. And that's because we've reduced the inventory. But here's the thing. I don't miss any of the stuff that we got rid of. We kept everything we use every day, the stuff I really like, and the rest of it left and I don't miss any of it. I don't think about it and I'm so glad that it's not in here anymore. And I do want you to know that we didn't get here overnight where we could all just jump in and tackle a space and, and have it get done quickly. This is something Dana from A Slob Comes Clean talks about a lot, the five minute pickup. And she said, like fully expect your kids will grumble, they'll have to go to the bathroom, they'll leave to go put something away and never come back. And so it's a skill um, that we've worked on, but it's really important to me because not only, I mean, obviously I can't keep up the whole house myself. I do want my kids to learn these skills, but I also want them to realize that even when something looks overwhelming, really messy, that if you will just tackle it for five minutes, even if you stop at the end of five minutes, it's gonna be better. You're gonna break down that like mental barrier of this is too hard, this is too difficult. And so it's a tactic that I think they'll take with them into the rest of their lives. I know it's been really helpful for me. So I feel like if we can just keep practicing it, again, not every day goes perfectly. Sometimes there's fighting and we're always whining, <laughs> right? Nobody ever is like, oh good, let's do a five minute pickup, right? But again, I, I, I'm willing to push through the discomfort because I do think it's something that's really important for our kids to learn, but it's really helpful too, right? I mean, if there's five of us, that's 25 minutes of work in just five minutes, right? So I'm really glad that we've stuck with it and have kept doing it because it, it really does make a huge difference. Okay, so we had like a minute and a half left and Gage and Corbin and Maggie were done with theirs and Adeline was still working on loading the dishwasher. So I'm gonna keep helping her with that. There's a few pots and pans that need to be hand washed. And then I'm gonna get these three started in the bathrooms and we're just gonna do another five minutes, okay? Let's do 10 minutes. Because now you're all, let's do 10, Corbin's like, let's do 10 minutes. <laughs> we're just gonna do. So how do you wanna pair up? I'm, I'm in there. Okay, there. no, Gage and Corbin here. Okay, all right, we got a game plan. <laughs> so here we go. All right, well, I'm gonna let the kids keep working and we wanna show you the new addition to our living room. So I feel I need to explain myself for one second. When we got this, lo this living room furniture a year and a half ago, we still had our TV room with a couch and Tom's recliner 
Correct. So that was like the comfortable TV watching seating. Right, that the and kids then, use. <laughs> and then this could be my room to finally have the furniture I'd always wanted. Wait a minute, you think that in a 1500 square foot house you were gonna get a room that no one was gonna <laughs> use but was gonna be pretty? Yes, Are you, are you kinda. serious? <laughs> Okay. The chairs are were very comfortable. The blue chairs were very the, comfortable. The blue chairs are and comfortable. they held up very well. Yep. The leather couch is beautiful, but not comfortable. The leather couch is beautiful, but nobody sits on it. The kids use it as like a play space. Which has kept it in very good condition, I might add. <laughs> so I was not ready to part with the leather couch because it's what I've always wanted and I love it. And I'll sit on it. I think it's comfortable. <laughs> Dawn will be the only one on this couch. <laughs> but we needed some more seating in this room. Yeah, because there's five other people who want to sit down. <laughs> Believe it or not. And this is our TV watching air space now too. So. Yeah, and so by TV watching area, you mean like the kids portable DVD player. pull up a little portable DVD player because we don't have a TV. We gave our okay, TV. Thank away. you for clarifying. Yep. Yes. Okay. We're not against TVs. We just don't have a good spot. Totally. For okay. <laughs> so Tom and I are like, we need to go sofa shopping. We call them couches. Couch shopping. Couches. We're gonna replace the two chairs with a couch that everyone can sit on. I wanted a sectional because oh, yeah. I wanted to have at least one aspect that you could put feet out. Yeah. And I wanted it to be big enough that we could all sit on it. Yep. But yet we also know that this room isn't super big. That's the problem. So we went shopping and we were not having any luck finding anything. As you all may know, there is almost no furniture actually in any furniture store. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things are not. They're like, oh, six to 12 weeks, we could totally have that for you. We're like, <laughs> You're like great. So. Literally got home that same day and I have an email from Helix, which we love our Helix mattress. You yep. hear us talk about that all the time. And they're like, did you know we have a sister company called Allform and they make sofas? And we said, we did not know that. But the coolest <laughs> part is that you customize it and you select, they're modular, so you can change them around, you fit it to your space, mm -hmm. you pick the color, mm -hmm. and then they ship it right to your door very quickly. And I am also typically super skeptical, and I still was super skeptical on quality, because we had actually bought an Amazon couch. Oh, we a did, couch yeah. off Amazon like a couple months ago. And I unboxed that thing, put it together, and immediately broke it back down and boxed it back up. That is that is a fact. So, so I was like, okay, I am gonna be very particular on if this couch that we're yeah. getting in is the mail, gonna again. work, yeah, yes. in boxes gonna work again. So the boxes arrived, Tom put it together in about a half hour, the kids mm -hmm. helped, which was fun. So it comes in multiple boxes, a bunch of boxes, which is nice because then it's easier to move it into your house and then start unpacking it and get it put together. So knowing our space, we went for a three wide, a three section wide sofa, and then we did get a chase end on it because mm -hmm. again, Tom wanted a spot to where put we could put feet up. up. And so we got it put together, it came very quickly and this is like the new hangout spot in our house now. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell from this, it is literally the exact same color and exact same material as the two chairs we had in here. <laughs> Which is, the material is stain and scratch resistant. Yep. In my perfect world, I would have gone with like the lighter tannish cream color, but knowing our family, <laughs> I decided we need to go with I a little I think you mean darker. that we're dirty people. We live in the country. But I love it. The color is, it's very nice. And it is a lot like the chairs, which mm -hmm. I liked in here too. So it yep. pulled in a little more of our blue color. But they have a bunch of different colors that you can choose from to customize your own couch, which I think mm -hmm. is super. It was actually really fun getting to design it and then have them ship it to us. And don't worry, if you don't have a Tom in your life, it's still very easy to put together. I think that the boys could have done it. Yeah, but very sturdy, right? Actually, so that is that is one thing I will definitely give this credit for. So if you've put together Ikea things, this is easier and much more well-built. And you get 100 days to test it out. So we always love that about Helix and Allform. They let you get it in your home, test it out. And the amazing thing is that all six of us fit on here <laughs> without being cramped, which I was surprised by because again, this is a small room. Yeah. And so this couch actually, it's not like a monster couch. No. So if you follow our link down below, you can get 20% off your own sofa that you can go online and customize. Mm -hmm. And thank you to Allform and Helix for sponsoring us. We are so grateful for your support. Mm -hmm. So Maggie picked this bathroom, so she's gonna get going in here. 
Maggie could do this bathroom in her sleep, right? You yeah. can do this one quick, yeah. Okay, while Maggie works on the other bathroom and Adeline finishes loading the dishwasher, these two are gonna attack this bathroom. So we're gonna set the clock for five minutes and see how much you can get done, okay? Yeah, I think we're all gonna get all of it done. I think so too. And we generally do this like teamwork approach where we all go at it together. I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between helping with specific areas, cleaning up myself, and then directing. I see myself as like the manager in this situation, right? I'm managing my team here, and so I help keep them on task. We have some that are very task oriented. You can just tell them what to do, they'll do it, and they'll get it done. And then we have some that get distracted easily, right? And so I just see it as my job to keep them on task, keep them pointed in the right direction, ask, answer questions as they come up. And so I don't always get as much done as I would like. And there have been times where I've thought, this would just be so much easier if I did it myself. So please know that those thoughts go through my mind too, but mostly now, I'm always glad that I involve them and it goes quicker with them helping. Okay, Corbin finished up in the bathroom before Gage. So Gage is finishing wiping down the counter. So I'm gonna have him just spend a few minutes here in the entryway. It's not too bad. We just have some boxes that need to get broken down, some stuff to go out to recycling, and a couple things that need to get put in the car. So Corbin is, Corbin's like my number one helper, right? <laughs> so I know this can get done really quickly. It also helps to build confidence. I mean, they're doing things, they'll say, oh, I can't do that. Or Adeline will be like, Gage is only six, he can't sweep the floor. And it's like, no, he can. Will it be perfect? No, but the good thing is, is he'll have another opportunity to practice it again tomorrow. Even in the bathroom, he wiped down the vanity. Is it perfect? Nope, but guess what? Give it another couple days and he'll have another opportunity to practice. And I had to remind her of that too because she can cook full meals now, she's 11. And I'm like, you didn't start out being able to do it and do it perfectly, right? But we let you keep trying and, and making mistakes from time to time and having it not done perfectly. And after a while, you got really good at it. And that's more, <laughs> that's also my personality type though, is to let them keep trying and doing it imperfectly until they get it right. Tom has a harder time with that. So I do recognize that we're all wired differently and for some of us that's easier than others. So I will, I will give that caveat <laughs> as well. So one thing I've also learned is that it only takes five minutes to do a complete load of laundry. So to pull out what's in the dryer and fold it, to move what's wet in the washer to the dryer and load the washing machine, I can do all of that in five minutes. And I have to remind myself of that because in the past I would put off doing laundry because it was just like, ugh, it's this whole big thing. But once you get in the habit of dealing with the load of laundry as soon as it comes out of the dryer, fully processing it, not piling it somewhere or putting it in a laundry basket, fold it, put stuff where it goes, you really can do a full cycle of laundry in five minutes. And uh, yes, do you see this? <laughs> the boys brought stuff from the bathroom in here. So just so you know, that still happens in our house too. Oh, well that's a fun surprise. The dryer's already empty. <laughs> that makes it even faster. <laughs> And I loaded this load so I know that everything in here can just go right in the dryer. But if not, we have our drying rack here. Yep, and always some miscellaneous screws at the bottom. Just a quick follow up too. We had shown our laundry room makeover over the summer and I'd gotten these smaller bins for laundry. They work great. I love, especially as we've taught the kids how to do laundry and they definitely help with this too. But it's very easy to see like how many loads of laundry have filed up here. And so I was picking through them a little bit this time because I didn't want to wash some of Tom's darker clothes with towels. But often you can just grab a whole bin and just dump it into the washing machine. And so this system has actually been working really well. And I really like our drying rack too that we mounted on the wall. So, so far I love this and the floor stays super clean in here. Um, which I just, that's the best thing <laughs> too. So this has worked really well. And if you didn't catch that video, I'll link to it down below. Another tactic I use is once everything's picked up and the house is picked up, I'll tell the kids they can either stay inside and help me keep cleaning or they can go outside and play. And surprise, surprise, they all chose to go outside and play. Sometimes when it's cold out, they'll actually choose to stay inside and help, <laughs> but not always. And so then I just grab microfiber cloth and some window spray and they just, go around and give everything a quick wipe down. Everything, I can't believe how dirty every, like the walls, the fronts of the cabinets, everything gets so dirty around here. 
So isn't it crazy what we can get done in five minutes? It is. And it actually was five minutes because I just sat there and ran a stopwatch. <laughs> yeah. Tom was outside doing his own <laughs> five minute things. It's kind of funny because sometimes like with things that get put off like taxes or stuff, I'll tell Tom, I'm like, just just do five minutes. And you're just like, that is the dumbest thing. <laughs> you're just like, keep your five minutes to yourself. Five right? minutes of taxes would be just me organizing it. Right. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> but it gets you over the hump or the barrier of like getting into it again because we build it up to be this like really hard thing, right? He, you don't have to agree, I it's don't fine. Know. <laughs> it's totally fine, you don't have to agree. Um, I know cleaning. it works. Cleaning, I agree. Five minutes of cleaning for sure. Yeah. Five minutes of taxes. Uh. But what happens is a lot of times then you spend more than five minutes. Once you get into it, you're you like, said not just that five bad. minutes though. Okay, yes, touche, you are correct. So, like I said earlier, I do think it's a helpful skill that I want to instill in our children too. That is like, if something feels overwhelming or hard, set the timer for five minutes and just tackle it for a little bit. And usually that's enough to kind of break it down. So, can okay. we agree on that one? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was like the most skeptical yep I've heard in quite a while. It's bad. Edit, hold on, edit in a really, really confident yep. Okay. All right, <laughs> ask again. What did I, how did I say? <laughs> I don't know. Just say yep. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, I was just sorry, try it. Time. Should I be talking to them? Yeah. Okay. It really does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> be on that one. But anyways, so it's good. And it, I think too, we know that just like keeping the house tidy, it really changes how our house feels, right? Um, at 100% yes. Yeah. So it's kind of like whenever it's like everyone's a little on edge, I'm feeling on edge, I can't tell Tom's feeling on edge, it's like, okay, stop, we need to pick up the house because it's like when your physical stuff is in order around you, then it's, mm -hmm. it helps to bring like order mentally too, I think. It doesn't fix um, everything, but. But no, it does. It brings yeah. a lot of peace throughout mm -hmm. the house. Yeah, so we can agree on that. Yes. Good, awesome. <laughs> So I would love to know, like, do you have any tactics like this of like, set the timer? Is there a way, I know a lot of kids say like, it's really hard to get kids motivated, especially teenagers. So people are gonna be like, yeah, Don, it's that I clean my house every day. Oh, well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's something about this video like totally Fold does not clothes, even apply to. That's I know. Right. <laughs> Load the dishwasher as you go throughout the day, like problem solved. Wait, you Anyways. wash everything daily? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other thing I was gonna mention too, so these were the pillows that I had gotten last year. Um, we can now use them. They've been demoted to everyday use. The nice ones so now. So then we can do this with them. Yeah, squish it up however you want. Here, do you need another one? The white ones, just, however, just squish are for looks. The white ones are now the ones for looks. Oh so yeah, two Nobody pillows. touched there the white ones. <laughs> so I'll probably just put the white ones in our bedroom and then only pull them out when we have company. <laughs> that makes sense. And it's fine, like I'm okay with that, right? So, it's fine, mm -hmm. right? You got pillows, I got pillows, life's good. <laughs> hey, just, say, just say, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, well, we would love to know what you're up to this weekend. Um, I did mention in our video on Tuesday that the workbook is gonna be, uh, it's sent to the printer and it's gonna be available uh, the end of this month. Lord willing, and if the creek don't rise, we'll see. <laughs> that's the plan. Even we just saying it, it feels like there's paper yep. and ink. And it's getting printed it's being here printed in, in the United, United States. States. So we're like, okay, so that's that's the plan, anyways. But we'll keep you posted we'll on it. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd love to know what you're up to this weekend. Any cleaning tips or hacks that you have is always helpful to yep. hear as well. But we love you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.